Apes with Guns, the, the exhibition. It dawned on me that we are in a constant state of war, always. So that kind of started the exhibition. The first one was actually the, the drone. It's called Game Over, Generation Alpha. And it's about all the kids that grow up playing war games. You know, so by the time they're 18, they're, they're actually fully qualified to fly the drones nearly. The consequence is removed because they're so far away from it. So they're no longer, you know, there's no, it's, it's now very easy to kill and maim. And there's this clinical language, you know, it's, that's used. It's neutralizing targets, you know, it's not blowing up a school or... I mean, obviously back in World War One, they, they actually saw each other when they shot each other, you know. Whereas now, you know, the guy that blows up the school doesn't have to clean up the body parts afterwards. So that's kind of where this started, I suppose. And then it led me on to actually the, the next piece, Our Finest Hour. And it's the idea that he's kind of like King Kong, climbing the mm -hmm. Empire State mm -hmm. Building, which was you know, an engineering feat of its day, man's greatest achievement in architecture. And I think the AK-47 is probably the best known weapon in the world. And I'm wondering, you know, a few generations time, will archeologists be digging up more AK-47s than bodies? And, you know, instead of porcelain from the Roman area, they're gonna have guns and bullets from ours. So that's like, is that what we're gonna be remembered for? A lot of the time they they'll start and you'll have, I'll have a vague idea of a few different pieces. But as I make one, you might be thinking of another because you're kind of in that train of thought. The guy sitting on the grenade down here is called Afterthought. He's kind of more about the people who make the decisions. You know, like aptly the Donald Trumps of the world who just push the red button and blow everyone up without really thinking about it. Without really thinking about how it actually damages everybody, not just the people in, in Target. So he's kind of deliberately posed a bit like Rodin's thinker, but obviously, you know, it's too late for the thought. He's holding the grenade bin in his hand, so afterthought. Then I suppose I moved on to kind of the soldiers, you know, the guys who are sitting there controlling the tanks, but they're getting orders from someone else and they're just doing what they're told and pointing the gun wherever they're told and off they go. And it was kind of like the young, young men and women are now sent around the world on orders. They, they think they're doing great things for their country and saving the world, but really, they're just doing what they're told by whoever's in command. So it's that kind of mindless, you know, mindless following of orders that that was where that one was. And then I did move on to the final piece, which was the baby lying on bullets. And he's called For All I Know. And um, it's just how a baby will sleep peacefully through anything it grows up with. And what about all the kids that are growing up in through wars, you know, be it Afghanistan or, you know, Palestine or Syria, wherever these children are, or Africa. If they grow up with gunfire, violence, bloodshed, that's their normal. I don't think it'll be the end of this series. I think there'll be more, but for now, this is it.